What's happening troops, welcome back to another video on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm only going to be doing audio, I'm not going to be doing any face cam, simply because I was on Twitter earlier today and I was reading some articles and it looks like there is a rumour in that Rangers are looking to sign a winger named Eros Gresda. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. He's 23 years old and he is an Albanian international. He's made six appearances for his country and scored one goal. Yes, I did do my Wikipedia search. So, I was looking into this player and it turns out that he plays for NK Osijek. If you don't remember this team, Rangers played them in the second round qualifiers to get into the Europa League. And I was trying to remember him because I remember that they did have some tricky players, Barisic being one of them that is now a Rangers player. However, I just I couldn't remember him for the life of me. But it turns out that he was actually injured for those games. So I don't know how Rangers have got this guy in their books. Obviously, they must have been watching Osijek quite a lot. And Steven Gerrard actually thinks that they will go on to win the Croatian League. So he must value their players as being pretty good, being decent. So it looks like Rangers are looking to buy this player within the region of two million to three million pounds. And this is quite a hefty fee for me. So hopefully if we do sign him and we sign him for that amount of money, it works out. I think that we're going in for this player because Jamie Murphy is out with an ACL injury. He got injured versus Kilmarnock and it means that he's going to be missing the rest of the season, which sucks. It sucks so bad. You never want to see a professional, especially somebody that plays at your club, to go out with an injury like that. Simply because of the surface that he was playing on. So it looks like Rangers are looking to get in a replacement because the other two players that play in that position are Glenn Middleton, that has only played four or five senior games in his whole career. Yes, he's a great talent. He is really good. However, he's not ready, I don't think, to be a starter in the Rangers team. And I also don't think that Kent, who is also in that position, is ready to have the burden on him of being in that position and starting every week either. So it's really good, I think, that we're going in for a player who has had three, technically three senior seasons under his belt. He's played in Croatia since 2015. He started off his career at a team called Lokomotiva Zagreb, in which he made 59 appearances and scored 14 goals. So he probably made his debut for them when he was around 20 years of age and he's kick-started on from there. He played for them for two seasons before moving on to Osijek, who are a better team than the previous team that he was playing for. I watched some highlights on him and what I picked out straight away is he is quite a fast player but he's not fast in the sense that he is going to beat every single player. He's got speed on him but he's not the fastest. He's accurate when finishing. When he gets a chance it looks like he absolutely slots it in the net but the highlights that I was watching was only his goals, his crosses and his passing so it's quite hard to say whether he's a really good finisher or not. Another thing that I seen from his highlights that he was a good decision maker. He knew when to pass the ball he knew when to cross the ball and he knew when to shoot and he also knew when to hold on to the ball so that looked good and that caught my eye as well. Another thing that caught my eye was that he was scoring with his left and his right foot. I think that this is a great attribute for a winger because it means that he can keep the defenders guessing. He can go left, he can go right, he can go wherever the hell he wants so if he comes in keep that in note that he can use his left and his right foot. He played for Osijek last season, playing 26 games and scoring 5 goals. And if you think about it, he was on the left hand side and the man behind him was BB Bolna Barisic, who we all know, if you're a Rangers fan, has came in and lit our team up. His delivery is exceptional, he's played really well in every game that he's played so far in my opinion. I can't wait until he can play in the group stages if we do get there. Rangers obviously signed him for about 2 million like 2 or 3 weeks ago and he's came in and he's done excellently and as I said they play on the same side so they're going to have that link up, they're going to know each other, they're going to be able to communicate really well and I think that it would be a great acquisition to decide if we can bring in this guy. It is a big price tag on him so hopefully it works, it'll need to work. But as I said, this is just a rumour, this is a rumour that is going about. Rangers are in the market looking for a replacement for Jamie Murphy and this is the guy that is on the radar. That is going to do us for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please like the video. It's going to help with the video being shared. And subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I'm shooting towards 10,000 subscribers. That is a goal right now and hopefully we can get there sooner rather than later. 
Also, if you don't mind, if you want to, you can share the video and make sure that Rangers fans know what we're getting ourselves into. An Albanian international, 23 years old, and he looks alright. He looks alright for the highlights. Okay, I've been Sharp Div. I will see you in the next one, and I'm out.